Brawl Stars' last update, epic success or total flop? We're gonna discuss that in great detail. I hope you enjoy the video. Hello fellow ballers, I'm Kyle Simon, it is time to brawl. Now today's video is gonna be all about the most recent Brawl Stars update. Now with each new big update with Brawl Stars, I release an honest review type video similar to this where I share my thoughts regarding the positives and the negatives. And it's really funny because I typically really like Brawl Stars updates and I always seem to get a couple of people commenting something along the lines of, it's not an honest review if it's all positive, Kairos. Almost as if honesty infers that you dislike like something. I assure you guys, these are 100% my honest thoughts and it's actually just that most of the time I really agree with what the developer team is doing. They are seriously making one of, if not the best mobile game out there, guys. And with that being said, today's video is not going to be nearly as one-sided as they have been in the past. I have a lot of things that I really like about this update and a lot of things that I want to be improved. We're going to start this video off by talking about the things that I love about this most recent Brawl Stars update, and then after that, we'll move on to those suggestions. First of all, character remodels. Um, Nita looks awesome. Panda Nita, even more awesome. Bull also looks good normally, but his Viking bull skin is seriously so cool, and I'm absolutely in love with it. The shield, mmm. So nice. I know that a lot of people are upset about Brock's hat, but honestly, I like the new Brock way more than I like the old one. And Beach Brock is also super cool. Barley looks really cool. Golden Barley looks way better than he used to before. And then Wizard Barley. Oh my gosh. Wizard Barley is so <laughs> cool. In my opinion, it is on par with Phoenix Crow. And the fact that they are giving it to their players for free absolutely blows my mind. Like that, it is so cool. Okay, 3D gameplay. That's the next thing that I love. And I am amazed. The first time that I jumped into some 3D gameplay, I was like, whoa, this. This is really cool. It looks so beautiful. I mean, it's so gorgeous. This is the kind of game where you'll be playing and your friends will look over your shoulder and be like, hey, what's that awesome game on your phone? And you can just be like, bro, do you even brawl? It's Brawl Stars. I mean, seriously, the new graphics is the change in Brawl Stars that I did not know that I wanted. And now I need it in my life. And I'm so glad that they did it. I'm super impressed with the team's efforts in it all. It's just gorgeous. Also, big props to uh, Supercell for improving the lag with the update so quickly. Hopefully players aren't experiencing lag anymore. I know that I was before the most recent update and now I'm not experiencing it on either my phone or my iPad. Okay. Next thing I want to talk about that I really love is the UI. Now I'll talk about my issues with the UI a little bit later, but other than the things that I don't like, I love the new UI. Now I know that that doesn't really sound like a positive thing, but I really, really do love it. Some people are going to say that it kind of looks like a Fortnite lookalike, and uh, I don't know that that's necessarily a bad thing, and I don't know, and I don't know where their inspiration came from it, but the fact that the UI now has a bigger focus on the characters in the game I think looks fantastic, and I love the idea. I definitely think this is in the right direction. They just need to flesh out a few things that I want to be improved, and I'll be talking about that a little bit later. Additionally, I just wanted to say one thing about the UI that I love, and that is that you can now see the current map. I think that is so cool, and it's way awesome that now the teammates can now see the current map as well. Brawler voices, okay? Penny's voice, it's pretty cool. I like it. Pam's, I am a huge fan of. I love her lines. I think that they are hilarious. I am not a fan of Poco's voice. I was actually pretty disappointed when I heard it. I don't know what it was about it. I feel like Poco has all of this personality and then he came out and he just kind of sounded like a regular guy. And like, I was expecting him to kind of fit more like the El Primo style and to have like actual lines in Spanish and stuff. And I think it's worth redoing with some Spanish lines in it instead. Now the shop. I imagine 90% of people won't even have even noticed this because they don't spend money, but they've actually increased the amount of gems that you get for spending money. They didn't even mention that to us, so I appreciate that. Leon. I think Leon is a super cool brawler that totally does shift the meta. I love his invisibility mechanic. He really does feel like that super cool ninja brawler that I was hoping that we would get into the game. And I think it's really awesome that Supercell also quickly rolled out a nerf to him within a couple of days of realizing that he was completely ridiculously overpowered. And as I'm recording this video, the only Leon practice that I've had post nerf was actually the gameplay that you're seeing in this video. So I still don't 100% know if he's overpowered or underpowered or where he's at, but I'm, I love his mechanics and I think 
think that once he does find a good balance in Brawl Stars, he's going to be su such a cool brawler. I, I think it's awesome. Balance changes, I think we're on point. I am so glad that they removed the randomness in pennies and spikes mechanics, and I think that's going to make a huge difference in making Brawl Stars more competitive. I'm a little bit surprised that Pam got a buff. I didn't really think that she was requiring a buff, but it was a pretty small buff, so I'm okay with it. And I also really do love the Daryl rework. Um, he's definitely not as strong as he was in Heist as he was before. I mean, let's be honest. No brawler was as strong in any game mode as Daryl was in Heist. I mean, he was... It was ridiculous. Now he's just way more viable in so many different situations. I'm still not 100% convinced if he's balanced or not. I don't know if he's strong or what, but I, I love that he's different than Bull. I think that's great. Okay. Now, I'm going to get on my soapbox here, and we're going to start talking about the things that I uh, think should be improved in Brawl Stars. Now, I wanted to very much emphasize that this this might sound a little bit like a complainy rant or something like that, and I want to make sure that you guys know that this is not me saying that I think that Supercell ruined Brawl Stars and that you should go uninstall it. I think Brawl Stars is a really freaking amazing game, and it is only a matter of time before Supercell makes some changes and applies some feedback that we're giving them to make it even better because of this update. First of all, I'm not really going to talk about various bugs that we have in the game. Supercell is aware of them and they're making, they're working very hard to try and fix them. Bugs are a very normal part of development and you can't always foresee them. There were definitely a lot of bugs with this update, but Supercell also changed a lot with the game. So that's kind of to be expected. First thing that I want to talk about was that there are some things with the UI that does need a lot of work. They've already improved quite of the things that we've already suggested, but there's still some issues. For example, you can't switch from a three-man team to a six-man friendly room or a ten-man friendly room uh, without kicking kicking everybody and re-inviting them, and that feels very unnatural. Also, I know that this might be little nitty-gritty picky, but I am very annoyed that I have to click one extra time to select my brawler when I click on the brawler that I'm currently playing in a, in a game mode. Next thing I want to get feedback on is invites, okay? I get a ton of room invites. I'm really lucky to have a lot of friends that want to play with me, okay? I have I have 100 people in my band, and then I have a full friends list at 200 players. But I feel really bad because when I pick up the game 20 times out of the day, it's actually for me to just check something for a YouTube video that I'm working on or something like that. Mostly, I just feel bad that I have to reject people that are wanting to play with me like that. And, and then that makes me sad because then when I do have time to play, I want them to send me those requests. Like, I, and so I don't want my people to think like, oh yeah, I can't invite Kairos because he's a YouTuber. I want them to invite me. But most of the time, I'm not going to be able to play. And that, that's, that's frustrating to me. Now with the last update, this was not an issue because all I had to do was just create a game room and then nobody could send me any invites while I was in that game room. I was just online and I was not available to them. But now, even if I'm in a game room, they can request to join my game room. And so I'm still getting those invites and I'm still making people think that I don't like them and I don't want to play with them when I'm just working on a video and I can't play with them. I seriously think that Brawl Stars needs to have some sort of not available status that you can put your account on. Now I know that this might sound like a first world problem kind of situation like, oh Kairos, yeah, you're just a YouTuber, like of course, this isn't a problem for most people, but but this is actually a very similar issue that the, that the majority of top players actually have because what happens they want to have active people online all the time for them to be able to push with and so they fill up their friend request list with tons of people by jumping around from band to band and adding everybody so that when they are able to play they can quickly and easily find good players to play with but then they have this same issue that i do also i think that it's annoying that if you're playing duos showdown then you can still get room invites like people will request to join your room even though you're in duos i think that if you are and if you do have duos selected that they shouldn't be able to actually send an invite yeah, invites. That's a big one for me. Um, let's talk about another big one that I really am not a fan of with uh, Brawl Stars, and that is going to be the chat. <sighs> I'm not a fan of the chat, guys. I don't think I ever could be a fan of the chat. Not as it is right now. Now, let me explain why I actually don't like this change, okay? Now, some of you guys might remember me doing a video on a game called Storm Arena. I thought the game was a ton of fun, and I really did love the emphasis on the character screen right at the beginning, which is similar to what Brawl Stars is actually doing with their new UI. At the time, I was like, oh my gosh, Brawl Stars needs this. This is so cool. And then I was like, Brawl Stars got this. This is so cool. But the chat, okay? When I was playing Storm Arena, the chat was separate from the team selection and you had to click away from the team selection in order for you to read the chat. Similar to how it is in Brawl Stars right now. I was so 
frustrated with it. In fact, I took the time to write up a massive email to the developers talking about how it actually took away from the social aspect from this game that should very much be a social game. It's frustrating to have to toggle back and forth between different menus just so that you can read the chat or send a message. And to me, it honestly feels very disorganized. You shouldn't have to look away from your team to see the team chat. It should just be there. So when I opened up Brawl Stars with the new chat and the developer build for the first time, I saw that they had the same thing. I literally just put my head in my hands and just shook it. I was like, ah. Oh. Such a downgrade from the last selection, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, I love the emphasis on the new brawlers, but the social aspect of the game is way more important to me than looking at cool brawlers, even if it's a Phoenix Crow. Here's some of the reasons why I really dislike the chat so much, okay? So teammates are less likely to look at the chat. You kind of like have to play smoke signals. If they're just like sitting ready, or and they're like not paying attention to the little icon in the above that just says one. Oh, another message, two. Like if they're not paying attention, they're just sitting there. You have to play smoke signals to get them to pay attention. You, you go and you hit like, you open up the chat, then you close it, then you open up the chat, then you close it so that it flashes away, here, away, here, over and over again so that they're like, oh yeah, maybe I should go look at the chat. Also, it's very annoying to me that the club chat also increases that chat count because when I'm playing with my team, I don't want to read the club chat because I'm with my team. I want to be with my team. I want to see the little notification pop up if my team says something, but if my club thing pops up and I go check it, I'm like, it's really annoying. Also, I really do appreciate that now you can actually look at the chat when you are in the ready position, but now somebody in the not ready position who is looking at the chat cannot see if their teammates are ready. So their teammates can be like in the chat and being like, hey, yeah, we're ready. We're waiting for the third player to like hit ready and play with us, but he's just looking at the chat like, oh yeah, we're having fun talking. And so you have to go and be like, hey, dude, hit ready, which nobody wants to be badgered to hit ready and nobody wants to badger anyone to hit ready. Also, the fact that the club chat is actually separate from the club roster is very awkward as well. It's just, if you're reading in the club chat and then you want to go look and see like who all is in your club or see how you compared it, like you shouldn't have to go back and forth. It should just be there or it should be like just one click away instead of having to exit, pull something else up and then switch from friends over to club. Like it's, it's a lot of extra things. I, I'm not a fan of it guys. I don't know what the difference needs to be and I don't know the easiest way to go about doing it but I know that if anybody can improve this it's going to be Supercell. They have solved very difficult problems in the past with very unique things that I couldn't think of and I'm really hoping that they do something like that for the club chat. I want the focus on the new brawlers. I want the focus on the social aspect of Brawl Stars. I want it both. Can, can you blame me? Okay my last topic for today is going to be um, Brawl Ball. Now um, a couple days ago I did a video where I talked about Brawl Ball and and uh, the maps and all the changes. I covered the fact that offense is now stronger because the goals are closer to each other and the fact that defense is now stronger because you can corner the ball easier now. So like both offense and defense are stronger now. But then I also talked about how the change was necessary or at least some change was necessary to eliminate the random spawns that should not be in their game due to their negative impact in the competitive scene of Brawl Stars. After having some time to play Brawl Ball even more and really dive into it, I have decided that uh, I don't like how it's being played competitively right now. The, the respawn location means that the deaths are very, very punishing. And this is actually really easy for Supercell to, um, to influence because they can just decrease spawn time. So I'm actually not going to consider that an issue. But I will say that some brawlers like Mortis is way too strong right now because of how easy it is for him to actually get to a goal if you know how to play him right. This is due to the goals being closer, which means that there's less distance required for Mortis to get to that goal and actually make it in. Additionally, as you have seen in today's gameplay, there's some videos where we just straight up hid in the back and castled up the defense. If I remember right, the two times when we did it, the, the enemy teams were actually still able to take us out and uh, still got a goal. But um, even if it is balanced, I don't think that it's very fun. It's very frustrating for the enemy team and it is very boring for the team playing defense. So. I definitely think that does need a change. Here's the suggestion that I like the most. First thing, move the goals back to the, uh, against the back wall, uh, and then make it so that the respawns will actually spawn in the same locations they used to, but so that the respawn locations are based on where the brawl ball is on the map. If Supercell wanted to make defense a little bit easier, they could make so that you always respawn on the side of the map that the ball is on. If they wanted to make offense a little bit easier, they could make it so that you always spawn on the opposite side of where the ball is. And then of course, if you start respawning at the exact moment where the ball is in the middle of the map, then I'd be fine with a random spawn because at that point, um, 
it probably wouldn't actually impact a competitive match anyway. By making it so that the respawn is determined by the location of the ball, players would be able to predict spawns and then actually use that to their advantage and actually make an educated decision based off of it. Okay guys, this has been a long video and I've talked about a lot of positive things and I've talked a lot about some negative things that I want to be improved with Brawl Stars. Overall, I really love this update a lot. I really care about the future of Brawl Stars and want it to be the best game possible. And that does mean that I am incredibly nitpicky and very detailed. The last thing that I want to do is make anybody think that I don't love the game because I absolutely am in love with Brawl Stars. I think it is such an incredible game and I cannot wait to see what the future holds for Brawl Stars. And despite with my issues on the last update, I think that this is one of the most amazing Brawl Stars updates that we've had to date and it has laid an incredible foundation for Brawl Stars to actually go global on. So stoked for that next week, guys. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and I really am curious to know what you guys think about the most recent update, especially now that you've actually watched this entire video, and if you've done that, please put your opinions in the section below with the hashtag HonestReview. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I want to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for supporting it in an extra special way, and for now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.